Every 10 years, the census shows Americans how our country is changing in all kinds of ways. And the new data released this week shows which towns are growing in population, which towns are losing residents, and much, much more. The data impacts each state's representation on Capitol Hill. Here's New Center Maine Sam Rogers to break down what changes Maine saw over the last 10 years. Now the census throws a lot of numbers at us. We know Maine's population grew over the last decade by only a little bit, just 2%. Aroostook County had the most residents leave out of any county in the state. Cumberland County had the most growth in the last 10 years, and one city led the way in that change. It's becoming a more and more comfortable place to live, and it's meeting the needs and expectations of a changing population. The city of Westbrook saw a 16% growth in population over the last 10 years, more than double the growth of Cumberland County. City Administrator Jerry Bryant knows why. In the last decade, we have had a tremendous uh, number of new housing starts. New housing attracting more people as the city spruces up its downtown and riverfront areas. That's where we have to strike a balance between preservation and conservation and economic growth and development. Maine is still the whitest state in the nation, but the census data shows it's becoming more diverse. The stronger our population is, the more diversified our population is, uh, the better workforce base we have. As communities like Westbrook grow and other municipalities lose residents, our politicians now have just 45 days to literally remap our voting districts. Our political brew team breaks down how this redistrictification will shape the next 10 years of Maine politics. The census may seem boring, uh, but politically, it's a big deal. The big deal for our state this year, redrawing our two congressional districts. Roughly 23,000 people need to be placed in Maine's second district as a result of residents leaving that area of the state. I think most of the projections show that the second CD will become more democratic. You literally are sometimes drawing lines down streets to make sure you get the right numbers. It becomes very personal and very political. It doesn't stop at the congressional level. State Senate and state house districts need to be reshaped as well. They all have to be the same size, or at least within the ballpark, as close to the same size as possible. About 7,500 people per house district and about 39,000 people per Senate district. And so the Arusta County seat's gonna have to add five to 6,000 people and seats down south may have to drop a few thousand in order to make them work. And it doesn't stop at that level either. Every city and town will now have to look at their own municipal districts and see if any changes need to be made. That could impact city council or selectman races as early as the next election cycle. And that 45 day clock the commission has to remap all of this, it's already ticking. In studio, Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.